thank you for coming back to my channel today. I am so excited because I'm going to do a review on the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I'm also going to do a review with their Color Corrector Concealer. As y'all saw in my previous video, I did do like a haul of like all the new drugstore stuff. But these really, really, really like caught my attention. So I really wanted to do a, a review on these first. Okay, so um, for the foundation and the concealer, that they're purposely made to like get rid of photo flashback and helps eliminate white particle reflections. It says that it was tested under seven light conditions. It was tested under clear blue sunlight sky, outdoor PM, indoor PM, electronic flash, fluorescent light, bathroom light, and nightclub night. I love these little packagings. I think, like, my first thought when I saw this package I was like, dang, like, this is a really nice package. Like, it's really pretty, like, it, it looks very, like, luxurious. For the foundation, I did get the shade Buff Bisque. I don't know if that's, like, my shade. I see the Oh, shoot. I got, like, a really light one. It's light ivory. So, you know, we're, we're just... We're gonna make this work. So I already primed my face with my Kat Von D Lock It um, Featherweight Primer. So I'm just going to go in with this. No way. It has this like little spatula thing. Oh my god, how cool is that? Okay, I'm not really down for this smell. It smells like paint. And I'm just going to go into use my Real Techniques um, Beauty Sponge, and I did damp it. Okay, so foundation is completely on. It really covered up a lot of my redness. Like I get really bad like red on my cheeks and it covered it pretty well. You can see like a little bit of texture. You can still see this little guy right here, um, but it's nothing like too bad. I'm gonna go in with the concealer. Just gonna put some under my eyes. I'm gonna go in and set this with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm gonna go in and set it with my um, favorite Pebbleine Better Skin um, Powder. This stuff is so good, and I really wanted to try the um, Wet n Wild, like the new pressed powder, but couldn't find it anywhere. Oh, and I'm using the Cosmetics Buffing Mineral Powder. And this is like one of my favorite face powder brushes. Like it's just so soft. Alright, so I'm actually going to do the rest of my face makeup off camera since this is just a review only on the foundation and the concealer so okay guys so makeup is done and I did want to say that I really liked the foundation so far it is definitely not a full coverage it is more of like a medium coverage but it doesn't seem quite buildable because I did notice that it kind of like it just didn't cover texture like I wanted to but that's okay because it's still a drugstore product it is wet and wild and it was only like $5.99. Like, that is insane. Just for like the coverage that it did have, um, I think it's pretty good. It's definitely like comparable to the uh, Maybelline Fit Me foundation. But it still looked really great. I think it gave me like a flawless base. My blush, highlight, bronzer, everything applied on very nicely. Um, I didn't have any problems with the like, caking or anything like that. The only thing I did want to um, share is that when applying the foundation, um, from the beginning of the clips I kind of put a dot here like a dot here like all over my face but it did dry pretty quickly so I would just recommend it to work in sections so we'll either start with your forehead first go in with the beauty blender and blend it out and then move on to your cheeks or your forehead whatever um, you know whatever you feel like doing um, I'm also going to try doing this um, foundation with a brush I did use the damp sponge maybe that's why it didn't really like give me the coverage that I wanted to but I 
like it does like look pretty good I will also update you guys throughout the day it is currently 1030 right now so I'm going to go do some things run some errands um, and I'll update you guys either once or in a t two more times throughout the day to let you guys know how it is going for me hey guys what is up it is currently uh, 958 p.m. I'm gonna be honest with you guys and I don't like this foundation at all like at all and I was super super disappointed I touched up my face one time and as I put my powder over my face the foundation literally swirled around my face with the brush like what like what no I will say though it's just it's not a bad foundation I do have very 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 oily skin so I don't know if that has something to do with it but let me just let me just pop y'all in a little zoom. So can you see how it is completely broken up on my nose? Like there is no foundation on my nose. Like it is all gone. Like you can literally see every little thing and I do not like that. Look at my forehead. The foundation is totally gone. Yes, I have texture. I have some little problem areas on there, but you can literally see everything i will say though that i did like the concealer but the foundation was a no-go for me i was really excited because i did like the spatula that it came with it was so easy to apply and to work with um i don't know like i just thought it was a, it was gonna be a great it was gonna be a winner for me but unfortunately i did not like it i just know with this texas heat that is gonna come in just a few short months that is just going to look slip and slide all off my face. But if you do want to try this for yourselves, you totally can. It's only $5.99, which is a great price for a drugstore foundation. Like I said, I do have very, very, very oily skin. It's very, like, weird. It's just, I have really weird skin. I will say, like, if you do want to give it a shot, it's only $5.99. They have so many different colors. I think they have, like, six or seven shades. But at the moment, it's going to be a little bit hard to find these because there is so much hype on them right now. But if you just wait it like maybe if you just wait like a month or towards the end of the month, um, you might be able to get your hands on it. Maybe if you have combination skin, it does have a matte finish though. So that's something that worries me. I'm just trying to, you know, like help y'all out. And I don't want to completely say that it was awful because it's not awful. Um, I don't know. But I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Um, and yeah, so a no for the foundation, but a yes for the concealer. So that's a good thing. And yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. That you guys have a great day, and I'll just talk to you guys soon. Bye.